Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to do a quick video on HomeSeer. I uh, noticed that I hadn't done any HomeSeer videos in quite a while. I've been working on my DIY power wall and kind of neglected my home automation for a little bit. But uh, getting into the fall season here is usually when I start picking up the projects um, on my system. And I do have a few things in mind that I'm going to be adding to the system that I will we'll try to do some videos on. Um, but I've run into one of the issues here recently with um, HomeSeer and my Google account. And I just want to kind of share with you guys some tips and tricks, uh, some things that I've run into um, that you could do to kind of um, help your system out or some things to look out for if you are running into issues. And one of those that I've been running into was my uh, Gmail account. Um, I have mine set up uh, to use my um, Gmail account to send alerts and um, so forth to my uh, phone's email accounts, etc. Um, I was noticing that I wasn't getting alerts and come to find out, check the logs and start getting this username passwords not accepted. And um, what I found out was uh, for some reason in my Google account, one of the settings had gotten changed. So to check your settings in Google, you just want to log into your Google account and go to your security settings. And the one thing that was catching me was uh, a lot of times I guess Google says let's review your account and check it for security issues and I guess me going through clicking wasn't realizing what I was clicking on but this less secure app access um, this was my problem um, and what happened was this um, I turned off the access for less secure apps and unfortunately HomeSeer is listed as one of those I guess um, maybe in one of the future releases of HomeSeer they will integrate it more with Google so it will be on their secure list so unfortunately the only way to get around it is to uh, allow this less secure app access. Uh, once I clicked on this, changed it to on, everything worked fine. So um, when you start running into Google email issues with your home seer, make sure you check your Google account. That could that's probably your 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 stopping point. Um, I'd also one time put on two factor authentication uh, with my account and that uh, also messed up the access. So check with the uh, on your security settings if you start running into any problems linking your accounts uh, to HomeSeer. The second thing I want to talk about is kind of just a little tips and tricks um, uh, something that I've implemented that kind of helps me out maybe it'll help you out. Um, always getting fussed at by the family about our network being slow um, unfortunately uh, I am on a cable modem system and it does tend to slow down over time and I found that I was having to reboot the modem and kind of power cycle modem router everything to get it back up and running and with it being tucked away in a closet it's kind of hard to get to so what I did was I just went in and put a Z-Wave module on there um, I've actually got it hooked up to both the router and the cable modem because my system kind of comes up together at fine uh, I know sometimes you have to start your you know your cable modem internet before you bring up your router so if it is that's the case you'd probably want two modules um, but I do have one and what I've done is I've just go in and I created an event that will cycle it um, and the nice thing about doing it within HomeSeer versus something else like you know going through Alexa or some of the other smart thing hubs is you can once you turn the router off of course you lose all that internet connectivity um, so this is one of the shining things for HomeSeer is if you put it in an event even with the network out it's still transmitting because that computer's sitting there running and it's talking over Z-Wave X10 whatever protocol you're using so you can take and just have this run it it will turn everything off five seconds later bring it back on and then it comes back up um, I have used this when I've been outside of the house uh, as long as you have internet it will work but if the internet's completely out I can do this from home because usually my network is always up it's not dependent on being you know on the uh, the internet so uh, this works really well and it keeps the family happy and it's pretty easy to implement 
and like I said it's uh, kind of an advantage over some of the other systems that require internet connection is you can't turn the internet off and then go turn it back on whereas this will do it so anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this this quick video here on HomeSeer if you have anything else you want me to cover please let me know don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I look forward to you coming back and checking out some future videos thanks have a great day